My name is Trinette Williams, but I'm better known as Queen. And I've been growing my nails over 12 years. First Lady Tammy Dunmore. I have been growing my nails for the last five years. My name is LaRue Drummond, and I have been growing my nails since the age of 13. Long Nail Goddess is a person who was meant to shine, not to blend in. And I'm not only a member, I am the president. It was a beautiful experience being a transgender manicurist, nail technician out there. Not only that I inspired this woman that it's okay to be different, but a lot of youth transgender. It was so hard for me to come out in the 90s. You know, we get good comments and we get bad comments, so I know exactly how that feels. Like, I make sure I build that environment so when you're here, this is a safe haven. You're not discriminated, looked at, or tormented. I was a nail biter um, and I was out one day with my mom and I saw this lady whose nails were longer than this and it just fascinated me. This, I have a name for a couple of my nails. It's Attitude, Miss Independence and Marla. This is Miss Attitude. You see, I said she does her thing the way she wants. <laughs> I've been growing my nails ever since my husband left. He passed away 10 years ago. When I got my nails done, I started just getting back to life because it gave me something to motivate myself. I am a first lady and I got that title because I am married to a pastor. That stigma of, you know, people thinking that because you're in the church, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that or you shouldn't have this amount of nail. Who says? I don't see that anywhere in the Bible. I was diagnosed with breast cancer and I believe the chemo and the radiation, I don't know, it, it, it just made them like get real strong. Everything else was failing, but the nails stayed. When I got diagnosed, um, Maria, I told her before I told anybody in my family. So here became special for me. I learned to do everything. I learned to use the weapon. I went through basic training with my nails. I did everything. I work on my car. I crochet. I take care of my mother who's 84. I take care of my family when they need me. I change diapers, make bottles, do hair when I can. How you clean yourself? The dumbest question in the world, how do you clean yourself? Same way you clean yourself, same way you clean yourself. It's the same identical way. Tissue, bundle up, I spread and I wipe either front or back. I do like anybody else does. It just amazes me that instead of taking the time to find out about us, they automatically assume that we're nasty or that we're on welfare. That's a big one. Sometimes it's just imperative to say something because you want to help people to not be ignorant. We are human, just like you. It's nothing we can't do, you yeah. know? Amen. Oh, <laughs> I sit and I do so many clients a day, a week, a month. I'm like a therapist to them. 
and they are to me too, believe it or not, because sometimes I want to vent out. So we don't all live around each other, so we come here, we get to have a good time, we get to laugh, we get to see each other, so it's good. Positive vibes. Yeah. And when the world is against us, we have each other, you know, because we understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hate it.